Fox Carolina is the school station. Well, this is not a tutoring center. It's not a classroom. It's actually a dance studio. We know a third of Greenville County students will use e-learning this year. They'll need a space to do it, and parents will need some help. This studio is hanging up its dance shoes for half the day and instead setting up the computers with the space that they do have. And that's where we find Fox Carolina's Shale Ramin tonight. Well, Tori, you know, it's a trend we're seeing pop up all across the country right now. Dance studios like the one you see behind me, Dance Without Limits, converting their space into these virtual classrooms. And Beth, the owner, tells me she sent out a survey to these parents a few weeks ago asking, would this be something you're interested in? And of course, as you can imagine, many have felt a lot of relief. Dance has always been a love of my life. I've done it my entire life, um, and I've always felt drawn to kids. Um, they're very much uh, my heart. Teaching kids how to dance is part of Beth Bradley's heart, her life calling. We want kids to grow and develop here in all ways, not just physically. But did she ever think these kids would be learning math and English in the same place they practice their pirouettes? No, not in a million years. <laughs> But here we are in the year 2020, where places like her studio, Dance Without Limits, is being converted into a space where students can learn remotely during the day. So we can take a total of 20 students. Um, we have two rooms that can house 10 kids each um, while we're still maintaining all of our social distancing um, protocols. Normally, where their tap shoes would be doing a time step, you can see now desks will be squared off to follow CDC guidelines during this pandemic. On the plus side, this is a dance studio after all, so there will be some exercise. So every day they will have some type of arts class, whether it be dance, art, music, drama. With 13,000 students now learning from home, Beth says parents all find themselves in the uncertainty boat. Her goal is to make the journey a little less rocky. I think if we've learned anything with this virus, it's that we have to pivot. We have to meet the needs in our community. Um, nothing is going to be like it was before, so we kind of have to be okay with that. We know it takes a village to raise kids. We're thrilled that we're a part of, you know, our people's village, um, and we're willing to do whatever we need to to get these kids squared away. So a lot of logistics to still work out, but we do know this learning goes from about 8 o'clock in the morning until 3 p.m. Then normal dance classes will resume at that time. And if you want to learn more about this and how you can maybe sign your child up, we have all that information inside of our Fox Carolina News app. For now, reporting live in Greenville County tonight, I'm Shelvermeen, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.